people would say, what would you, you know, what would you say about your burning house? And a lot of people would say their photo albums. They mean a lot to people and they help capture memories. And for a lot of these people, they don't have that opportunity. My name is Aloma Kalasin and I'm the founder of the Free Photo Project. The Free Photo Project provides free portraits for the homeless and low income, um, people that might not otherwise have the opportunity to have a portrait, um, either of themselves or with their family or friends. The idea actually came to me at a time where I felt like I had the least to give. Um, me and my kids were going through a transition and um, I was looking through pictures of me and my kids on my computer and thinking how grateful I was that I had them. And it just occurred to me that other people might not even have a picture of themselves with their children. I just decided to act on it and um, I called a local family shelter to see if I could come take pictures. And um, at the time I didn't have a fancy camera or anything, I just had a little point and shoot camera and they were excited to have me. And I went and did um, just snapshots of people with, the, you know, families and kids and stuff, and uh, then I went and had them printed out at Target. They were in Eugene uh, under the Washington Jefferson Bridge. Um, this is a regular spot for us. We set up portable photo printers. They come up to the table, uh, we sign them in, we have them sign a, a photo release, and assign a photographer to, to them to go take their picture. They go take the picture, um, we usually show them you know, several that we've taken, let them choose which one they like the best, and then we'll go over to the printers, and we usually print two copies per person or per couple. A lot of people say that they want to send one to somebody, um, so we also provide stamps and envelopes when we can, um, and also an additional print if they ask for it. Especially on a day like today where we have several hundred people here, um, it's very important that we have enough volunteers. Um, the printing takes a while, Getting the right shot can take a while, and then I really like it's really important that we have enough time to like interact, like give that person your full attention and interact with them and like help them get a good picture. And a lot of times they want to tell you a little bit about themselves and stuff. And so having enough volunteers allows us to take the time with that person. Taking photos for people at the photo project is uh, probably the most instant gratifying thing that I do. It's great to, you know, you take their picture and you give it to them and it's something that they just can't get anywhere else. It's kind of a nice thing because um, actually it's just me and my son and um, other than my cat, my, my cell phone taking pictures, we've never had a picture um, just me and him together. It's great. And then they're going to make a copy for me so I can send it to his mom. You know, like reassure that um, we're doing alright and, and everything will be okay. To me it's like a message of you know, like we all have something to give and like find your unique gift to the world and you don't, you know, you don't, don't wait until you have money or you're, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's a lot of different ways you can give that can mean a lot. And this project, you know, we have printers and, and fancier cameras now, but that's not how it started. And it still meant just as much to people. Um, I just liked photography and I just had this idea and I just took my little camera and went out and did it and I think... Um, you know, that's also the message that I want to want to get out there too is you don't have to be a professional photographer You just go take your camera and do it and people will love it